Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Notch, the Innocent Lunar Eclipse Sinners, or Eclipse Sinners, whichever you prefer. So, right off the bat, a new character. So, I don't know, I've already given him a sassier voice for this, so again, in advance, I apologize if I offend anyone, but this is the only sassy voice I... <clears throat> this is the only sassy voice I know. I should really drink, get a drink or something. I do. I, I do have a drink. Aha! Uh -huh. I got smarted myself. Okay. Where have you been? Why did you come out of the guest room? Hmm. <laughs> Don't know why I did it home again. It's, uh, it's that appropriate. Oh, we've got to cook on the screen, haven't I? Ah. Oh, it's Solana Ren. Solana Ren. Hisashi? Why are you here? Remember of the Tokin house? Mikami Hisashi. Oh, music. Let's do it. It's my home! Why can't I be here? I didn't mean that. Then what did you want to say? You don't know? Funky music. I'm gonna rave. Let's have a dance off. Let's go. <laughs> if, I, if I had, if I did a web, if I did like a web thing right now, like um, what are they called? If I did a face cam right now, I would look like a right knob. Hmm. Don't move your dots, please. Almost could stop recording stuff and move on. Okay, my bad. Where have you been these couple of days? Where did you go? I haven't really been anywhere. I've just been hanging out. Hanging out? Okay. Then tell me where did you go and what did you do? What do you want? Nothing. As the master of a Tokian family, I need to keep tabs on my family members. Still funky music. <laughs> what a master! Tell me. Salah. Salana Ren! You better not put on that masked air in front of me! You think you're in charge of everything? They call you master, but I do not. Hisashi, you... Solana Ren. I said things like this before. I told you to leave me alone. You don't meddle with my business, and I won't meddle with yours. Don't say I didn't warn you. What do you think? You didn't obey family rules, when did you come back? Why did you come back? Why can't I come back? You want to pocket up parent legacies, don't you? Is that why you're making every endeavour to kick me out of the family? I didn't mean that. You did! Oh yeah, I am. You do, Solana Ren!
You can probably hear them headset, sh headset shaking stuff as well, but in fact, as soon as I get my desk mic, it'll be a lot easier, don't worry. You always ask, you always ask me why I want to come back. Why I come back home. I know you hate me, and want me to go. But I won't go until I get part of my legacies. Ugh. Think about it. There are only three people in this family anyway. We are going nowhere. We've got a blessing from a god. Why don't you split the legacies and go? Why don't you split the legacies and we go our separate ways? I thought what's going on in all fairness. It's kind of weird. Legacies? What's all this about now? Why legacies and stuff been included into this? I thought it was a murder mystery and all of a sudden, legacies? Privileges and stuff like this? What's going on? A bunch of blonde haired people coming in now all of a sudden? Nothing against blonde people, I just didn't realise we'd get three blonde people off the bat. I'm just kind of hoping for a bit more diversity, I was hoping for a bit more colours, but you know, we've got three blonde people. Well, then again, we have a pink haired person. A blue haired person. Wait, Sa Saki's also blonde, so there's four blonde people in this. Hmm. I didn't, I'd actually, I didn't think about that first, okay. We gonna get anyone with normal hair colour <laughs> at any point? You know, just black hair. No, blonde. Blonde is a normal colour. Yeah. So, can we get someone? Can we begin to get someone with dark hair in the end? Like someone with black hair or purple hair? You know, some, something weird like that. Actually, no, purple's actually. No, oh, we got blue and green. I don't know what other colours there are we could have really. What would stand out above the rest? Okay, no, white. we haven't had white hair yet. Um, I need to sneeze. No way! Wait, no, this is Ren. No way! Stop being so stubborn! Oh, we're much better than where you are now. Being a master of the right of management over the town. You're just a puppet! But you are feeling so good about it. Hisashi, because of you, our family is stuck on this page. Really? I'm so honoured. You... Ah, are you mad at me? <laughs> I was kidding. Hisashi... You better behave yourself. Or I won't let you go easily. So scary! <laughs> Should I say, yes, my master? You wish, but you can't do anything to me, right? <sighs> oh, boring. It's such a waste of talking to you. Where is Rika? Is she at home? Oh no, Rika's not blonde, is she? Ha, huh, my mistake. So there are no three blondes. Okay. I know this is actually. Where's Rika? Is she at home? There we go. Sashi, come back. Do you really want to torture her now? Do you have a problem with me? Yes, I kind of do right now. You're annoying me. Sashi, do you have any idea what a tragic life Rika's living with you? I don't know. Wait, is this the guy who's been beating her? Solano, beat him! Go on, get his ass! <laughs> I like how my, I like how my um, response to finding out who's beating her is to beat the person responsible. When all again, if they if you make them suffer enough by beating them, they're not going to do it again, are they? You know, I 
I reckon we should just break through his fingers, you know. We, we'll be fine with that. Just a, few, just a few of his fingers, not all of them, just a few. We'll be fine. No one will find out. I just know she is my girl. She dedicates everything to me. Even her life. How does the way I'm treating my girl have anything to do with you? Hey, Sashi. You're a monster. Again, do you have something new to say? Solano, just beat him. Come on. Punch him! One punch! One punch! Hey, Sashi. You were the black sheep in our family. Don't ignore my question. Wait. Don't ignore my question. Is Rico around? Go find out for yourself. Huh. <laughs> Again? I have nothing to say to you. Get lost. That's what I guess. I could have freaked myself. She has nowhere to go. I don't, I don't know why I've got a picture of Rain with a really soft voice, which is what I'm trying to do it as. It's probably not, not giving it justice, probably. For what the voice I'm here expecting in my head. Ah, luckily, I didn't take Rika to her room. I put her in the guest room. Because Kyo's got more of my um, my random shouty voice, like, Yeah, let's go! Or oh, Sutherland's got my, Yeah, let's go! Yeah! The more subtle, yet quiet voice. They're the same voice, but one's dedicated to the pitch is different, alright? <laughs> well, tone. Yeah, tone is different. And tempo. I've got hiccups. Otherwise she'll be tortured by otherwise she'll be tortured to death by Hisashi. I need to lock the door to Rika's room with my special with the special key. Oh transition. Oh we've lost Saki! No! Oh please don't let Saki die! Oh it's the last thing I want is Saki to die. Oh it's coffee, I don't think I can drink it, I think it's still hot. No, I can drink it, it's fine. Woo! That should ease my throat up a little bit. Thank God for that. Alright. Uh, well, what do I forgive her? Uh, I've been here a couple of days. Even if I go back to the town, I have no place to go. Every moment here is scary, although I can find food to eat. I want to be with Kyo. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I feel so bad. We didn't have a choice to leave her or keep her there. Stay with us though. So I can't feel that bad. But the fact that we've left her there still makes me, do, makes me feel bad. Oh, no. Saki. Can we go back and get her? Is that a choice? I want to get Saki again. I mean, did she, I, mean I, I, I know I said I didn't like her. I know I said... Well, I, did, I didn't hate her. I didn't like her, but... I missed having her follow me around, okay? I... Like, maybe I did like her a little bit. Maybe there was a bit of emotion there towards her. God damn it, we left her behind. Ah. Oh. Kyo, you're so stubborn. Why can't you take me with you? I don't need you to protect me. Uh. Maybe I, maybe I could be a burden to Kyo. Also. Okay, so, carrying on. Ah, so irritating. I don't want to be a burden. Even without Gyo, I can still do whatever I want. I've got a blocked nose, so bear with me. Ah. What should I do? Let's go find Kyo, let's go! Ah, yes. I'm gonna prove to Kyo I can still look for the killer on my own. What are you looking after the killer? What are you looking for the killer? I don't understand. Ah. 
but if I run into the killer, I... What on earth should I do? I'd better go visit the Toking family tomorrow. Yeah, she's going to meet up with us. Woo. This is the only thing I can do. Oh, she's going to find Kira lying in bed. With that giant gash on him. Oh no, but Rika's on a bigger gash. Oh, no. We're both dying. Oh, please let Saki find us. I don't want her to die. I don't want anyone to die. It's weird, but everyone keeps dying anyway. Why am I feeling that I'm so pathetic? I could do this. Ah, I really can, right? I've got a voice completely changed. But again, it's all got cold. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, come in, please. I like Kyo's voice. It's easy for me to do. And Ren's voice is easy for me to do as well. I like these voices. Hey, how are you holding up? Much better. Thanks. You're welcome. By the way, I don't know your name yet. I'm Kyosoma. Kyosoma? Okay. You can call me Kyo. Okay, Kyo. How are you feeling today? Can you walk? Yeah, I guess so. Um, let me try. Don't push yourself so hard. You should rest more. I can't waste my time anymore. I appreciate your help, but if I can get up, I should lie in bed. I tried to get up, although I am not in a severe... Although I am not in severe pain, my whole body is weak. Oh, have you ever got... Have you guys ever been extremely... Like, I just got over from an illness or something, or an accident, and you feel extremely weak when you get up? I remember I had a... I went into... had a fever, or a flu, whatever you want to call it, for... I think it was a week? Maybe a week and a half? And because everyone was, because my parent, my mom had to work, my brothers were at school, and I had to try to look after myself while I was sick. And it's like to get water, I had to get up, walk as best as I could to the kitchen without falling over. Oh, I was so weak. Oh, it was horrible. But luckily, in the end, I managed to find a bottle instead, so I filled just filled the bottle of water. Let's use that instead. I'm using a cup. So that saved me a few trips. So praise water bottles. Especially when they're two litres. <laughs> uh, I, I like sharing my stories for like stuff like that that's happened to me in my past. I mean, there's a bit more to it than that. I didn't straight to water, I had to go, you know, to the bathroom and stuff like that as well. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. Being that weak. It's not what you can do when you're that weak. It's it's annoying. You do feel you don't you don't half feel depressed though while you're while you're experiencing that though. It's just because you can't do anything. You're just useless. You feel useless because you can do anything there but lie there in pain until it goes. Kind of sucks. Anyway, let's move on. I've read that. I can't even sit up. Ah. Can you? No. Then take a rest. You were wounded so badly that it's going to take a while for you to fully recover from it. Thanks, Solano! Solano, Ren, you're awesome! I was going to call you Ren. It's easier for me to say Ren, Solano. Thanks, Ren. Again, I'm sniffing as well. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. I will look for some herbs in the, for you in the forest. You rest up here. Oh, thanks, Ren. Oh, okay. It's weird that the renowned to Tokin family has no servants. The master delivers my meals, takes care of me, and checks on my wounds these days. Okay, so... Oh, it's, it's hard for me to say. I mean... I, I, I would love if if I had a, if I was rich, but I had a small house like the Tokens, I'd probably do everything myself. In all fairness, because I don't like 
because of having a maid, it'll be Aura's butler. I've kind of like, I can see the parks of it, but at the same time, it's like, I'd get so lazy. I'd have, I want to do, I'd have to do stuff myself. But if I was in a big house, I'd maybe hire a maid or something to help, help clean. But by all means, I wouldn't let them do all the work alone. I mean, no. I'd have to help. I, I, otherwise, I'd just feel like I'm getting lazy. I couldn't sit there and do nothing. I mean, I, mean, I could sit, here, I could sit here and do YouTube all the time, but ah, uh, no, it's like I didn't mean I'd just be sat down. No, I'd have to go up and go places. Jeez, no. I mean, YouTube's awesome, so I love doing it. But the fact to be sat down for that all, every day for every hour, no, I couldn't do it. I'm really flattered. The master of the big family serves an, serves an ordinary person. It's hard to believe. Kyo, do you need anything else? Yeah, I need a tissue to blow my nose. Because it's blot nose is going to kill me. Ah, oh, oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to restrain myself from swearing there. Um, I'm skipping every- stop skipping stuff! God damn it! Why does my buttons not work? History. Ah, no, thank you. I really want to ask him about his family, but I don't think now's a good time. I'm afraid I may offend him, or pry into his privacy. It's a good thing to go by, Kyo. Okay. Also, I need a tissue to blow my nose. Be right back. Okay, I'm back after sounding like a baby elephant. After all, they, are, they have been taking care of me, and I may need their help to catch a killer after I recover. So, I'd better prevent myself from asking too much. I sound louder. Am I louder now? I hope I am. What I, need to do, what I need to do now is to get well soon, so that I can focus on capturing the killer and finding the whereabouts of Nanami. Okay, so... What I need to do now is get well soon. I think I've read that. Or if you the case, what I need to do now is to get, get well soon, and so I, I can focus on catching the killer and finding the whereabouts of Nanami. The whereabouts of Nanami? I suddenly recall that Nanami was taken away by this girl named Sakai Rika. I'm just gonna say Rika, so saying the whole. I get fed up with this whole name stuff. Oh, it's annoying. Can you just say like Rika, or just say the first name or something? It's a lot easier. So we've got Ren, we've got Rika, we've got Kyo, Saki, Shio, can't remember the guy's name. Slowly, Ren once told me that Sa told me Saki. Sakai Rika is from the Maduki family. Is she? We, I didn't know anyone from the Maduki family was there. If that's the case, the master will should know where Nanami is. If that girl took Nanami home, he must know. Why? Why does Sakai Ri Why does Saki Rika take Nanami to Maduki's family? To the Maduki family. Wait! We're not in the Maduki family, though. This is the Tokin, isn't it? Maduki was the one with um, Hitomi and everyone. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Is there a giant mistranslation error here? Or is this this whole thing I haven't understood? I'm not sure which. I'm kind of under the impression it's a translation error right now. Sorry, more coffee. God damn it. I can't help it. I need it. Helps my throat. I also put my dressing gown on. I'm cold. Hence why I've got a cold. This is not an accident. That means either Psycho Rika harbors some intentions towards Nanami, or the whole family does. If so, are they bad people or good ones? Do they have any connections with the, with the real killer, or could the killer be one of them? Find Rika first. That would be my first pro. That would be my first well, like line of advice. Find Rika. Am I safe now? Is the master really sincere in helping me? Find Rika. That's your first mission. What should I do? Find Rika. Kyo, I'm going to get some herbs. You take a good rest. Ah, wait! Yes? Uh, can I ask you something? 
I decided to ask him about Nanami. I'm in a dilemma now. Although the master is so nice to me, I'm still not sure whether he is a friend or an enemy. If Rika hadn't taken Nanami away earlier, then I, mean, I definitely wouldn't have any doubts about the master. Nanami is feeling to get. Nanami is a feeling. Is a feeler to get his, get his reaction on the matter. Ugh, I can't read. Sure, go ahead. Do you know a game? A, a game? A game? No. Do you know a girl? Well, why am I going to games? Well, there's even games with gammon I was going for. I'm not sure which. Do you know a girl? I thought I was going for games. I don't know why I thought of gammon. I don't know. Do you know a girl named Nanami Shio? Yo. Sorry, I've never heard of her. I get a useless answer. Is he playing the fool? Or does he or does he really not know anything about Nanami? He probably doesn't know anything about Nanami. If I says, well, I'm going to go to Rika first. If Rika was going to show you anyway. Okay. Why? Wait, what? Yo. Why did you bring her up? Ah, nothing. I'm looking for her. Looking for her? Has she run away from home? Yeah, sort of. It's not necessary. It's not necessary to tell him the whole truth now, since I have no idea whether he's telling the truth to me or not. Sorry, I can't help you. It's okay. I, I have caused you so much trouble. Never mind, I'll look for him after, after when, I uh, when I recover. Okay, I'm going to leave. Take a rest. Thanks, Ren. Yeah. Ah, I got nothing. Find Rika. I, I organized my thoughts. It's undeniable that Rika took Nanami away, away after Nanami got injured. Later I heard the master that Rico is a family member. Later I heard from the master that Rico is a family member. So she is part of the Tokin family, so okay, so they messed up. It's the Maduki family who's one with Hitomi in that lot. Unless they messed that up before and that was a Tokin family and this is the Maduki family, I don't know. I have to say, her, mo her moves must have something to do with the Tokin family. Okay, so we are in the Tokin family, so yeah, the mistranslation before. Rika strikes as a poor, poor but kind-hearted girl. Her whole body is covered with scars, so I presume she had been subject subjected to long-term abuse. But she could have run away from it, from me after I caught her. Instead of running away, she found food for me. Later, she kept stopping me from walking ahead when I was in danger. When she realized she couldn't stop me, she then shot ahead to protect me. She managed to carry me home and collapse at the gate of her residence, even though she was more badly injured than me. This music is getting awesome! But it was good to start off with, but it wasn't as, you know, techno and intense. Okay. Above all our, above all our experiences and her actions don't stand up too scruffy. Discurity? I don't know that word. If she's so kind hearted, oh no, I'm yawning. Ugh. If she's so kind hearted, why didn't she take Nanami away? Is it possible that she intended to save Nanami? Given the current situation, there is no evidence to support any of my presumptions. First, first of all, from the perspective of it, of her evil into. Intention. There is a doubt. When she took Nanami away, Nanami was dead or was dying. If she came for killing, it's understandable she wanted to take the breathing Nanami away. But, was it really necessary for her to take the dead body or the dying Nanami away? From the perspective of a good intention, Sakai Rika didn't know, Rika didn't know Nanami, so there was no reason why she would take Nanami away from 
to take Nan and me away to save her. I like how the deductive, the, the, the deductive stuff's kicking in now. Sorry, it's been a long day. I've been at work. Oh, I keep clicking stuff now. Hang on! Ugh. Oh, I'm yawning, I'm so tired, huh? So there's no reason to why she would take Nanami away. Okay, if she planned to save Nanami, why was she so scared of me and why does she keep trying to avoid me? The second doubt is in... The second doubt is her attitude towards me. Rika kept avoiding me after she took Nanami away. The last time I met her, she ran like hell. But after I caught her, her attitude changed greatly. She didn't run away while I was asleep, and later she offered to take me to Nanami. It's clear her attitude has changed greatly, but what made her attitude change? Well, the fact she's not chasing her saying, I'm gonna get you anymore! I'm gonna get you! I'm the killer! Come on, stay still so I can get you! Yeah, it doesn't look like you, I'm afraid. Did she know that- did she know she couldn't escape anymore, or does she have other reasons? The third doubt is when we were in danger. Who was that shadow? Before I approached it, it was standing near the dead body. If it was the killer, why didn't it run? Wasn't it afraid of compromising itself? Besides judging from the clotted blood trail, a dead girl had been dead for a long time. If the shadow was the killer, it's hard to believe it didn't run away, but stayed there instead. What did it plan to do with the back body? Or was it staying there on purpose, waiting for other people to come? When we got there, it had not noticed us. I was sure it had noticed us. I was sure it saw us. But that shadow didn't come to us. It stood beside that dead body. It didn't fight back until I attacked it. Or these doubts. What is going on exactly? I don't think that the shadow was some kind of... I don't think that shadow was so kind that it let, let us strike the attack in advance. I suddenly recall a detail. Which I, which is that before I woke up, Rika went out to look for food of herself. Maybe she didn't go and look, go out to look for food. She just pretended to do so. So, what, oh shit, what happened? There? So what happened there? Pretty much, she said. Um, Rika and Shadow planned to wait for me on that road. And when I got there, they killed me. Therefore, I couldn't go to find Nanami. This presumption doesn't hold water. If that were the case, why did, Saki, why did Rika save it at the cost of her severe wound? What if the Toking family planned all this so that they could stop me from seeing Nanami? Rika injured severely to protect me out of her kind nature. But if that's true, then it's a miracle that I'm still alive and taken good care of by the Master. I was in a coma a few days. If the family wanted to kill me, then I would have already been dead by now. Though I rule out the two presumptions, I gather other people or organisations may have set up all this for some other purpose. As there are no clue checks to back up my theory, I can't jump to conclusion. There is another possibility that the shadow didn't target me, but in order to avoid compromising itself, it had to attack me. Then, if I wasn't the target, who was? The next innocent girl? Or a certain person? Due to the lack of clues, I had come to a conclusion. The last doubt is why didn't the shadow kill Rika and me? Rika and I. As far as I know, the killer is the series of. The killer is it the killer in the series of murders is notoriously brutal and mercilessly. And mercilessly. Merc Mustlessly, okay, mustlessly kills people, and dis dismembers their body. But how can we explain what happened to Zarika and I? The killer just sped our lives out of mercy. No, I don't think that, I don't think so. All the shadow isn't the killer. It happened to be there and attacked us. Uh, this presumption is more, is much more reasonable. But who was the shadow? Who was it waiting for? What was it up to? I just thought the doubt to my head, but I can't figure out the truth now.
But based on the presumptions, there are a few connections between the killer and the Toki family. For now, I have no evidence to prove that the family is connected to the series of murders. Rika leaves a good impression on me and that I was moved by her by her on multiple occasions, except she took Nanami away. Master to the master of the Tokin family has taken great care of me. So before I have any more clues, I can't jump to conclusions. More dots. I have to stick to the original plan, which is after I get better. I will go to, I will go to, go to Rika first and find more information about her. Transition guys, I will leave it here. Hope you all enjoyed, if you did, hit that like button or subscribe, they both really helped me out a lot, and as always, I will see you in the next episode, I do need to get to sleep, so, <laughs> oh god, cheers for watching.